Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in the New York State Courts. We've been covering the uh, murder trial of uh, Daryl Campbell, uh, um, touch a tax stone, and um, we finally got over here, and uh, kind of a medical examiner was on the stand talking about the injuries to Roland Collins and the autopsy of Ronald McFadder. There was a lot of um, back and forth about a video and people running out and whether a person could still be alive could actually be dead and running, whether whether it required a uh, beating heart uh, to run out. Um, obviously, the defendant was there. Uh, there was a sidebar he didn't go up for at the end of it. He was uh, handcuffed behind his back. It's, it's different than federal courts. A little more, uh, you know, uh, it's a little more graphic. Um, uh, but the trial is continuing, although it's put off. It doesn't actually meet again tomorrow. There's some other stuff going on in the courts. We mostly cover the federal courts that are over there, but we got over here for this one because it's a case that uh, many people have been asking us to cover. I don't, I don't really see any other media in it. There was some sort of separation of the audience members. Some left at one time after the jury and then some left in another. I stayed as long as I could to get a, get a sense of it as the uh, prosecution team rolled off with their shopping cart or, you know, it looked like a supermarket cart. And the two defense lawyers left. They were actually pretty collegial with the prosecutors. And uh, the defendant uh, was handcuffed behind his back and disappeared down the same corridor that the judge went down. Now, let's go over it. They put into, into exhibits uh, the shot legs of Roland Collins. Um, there was a discussion about injury above the eye and uh, the autopsy. The doctor was on the stand and didn't actually perform the autopsy, so that's, that's an issue. Um, I'm sure they'll be picking up on it, and we'll be doing our best to cover it along with the, West, uh, with the Southern District of New York. Um, the defendant actually has a case over there, and uh, Judge Schofield got an update that this trial will be over at the end of March. So, intercitypress.com to be continued.